all right y'all i finished my diys i made like a lot of different videos <laughs> so i could decide like what i want to put up but i made my diys for outside in the garden i got my diy that i do for inside the house let me show you that real quick um this is my fly killer i don't like flies right this stuff works this stuff works and let me show you what it is it is this here now this is um, and I use, it's a buy bottle, yeah, you can't buy it, <laughs> you got to make it, and so I fill the line up to that, I fill up to that dark line right there full of water, and then I fill up to the top of that, like right there with dish soap, and I just shake it together to mix it, and I set it to the side to wait for when I need it, and then I take, this here is white vinegar, and I take this thing here, I bought these at uh, where did I buy it? At? I bought it at um, either Home Depot or Lowe's. I can't remember which store, but I fill it to the 15, the 15 fluid ounce mark. I fill that with vinegar, and then that mixture I just showed you, I fill it up to the top here because I figured maybe that's about 30 ounces. So it's like half and half. So that's that one. That's for inside the house, and baby, it works. Okay, so now these are the three that I just made today. This one I just did. This is one cup of uh, oil, oil, cooking oil, vegetable oil. I use canola because I don't have vegetable oil here. So <laughs> it's one cup of that, and it's one tablespoon of Dawn dish liquid. And all you do, this one is like ready to use right now. All you do is take one tablespoon of this and mix it into four cups of water and you spray. You do your spraying like at the end of the day, right before the sun goes down, like an hour before the sun goes down. And by tomorrow, it says it works immediately. Like this is the best. It says and it works immediately. And by tomorrow, your bugs is gone. So yeah, we need this one. And then this one here, I can't pick it up because it's a bit heavy. So I'm going to do it like that. This one here is red pepper red chili peppers fresh red well actually they dried because they were hanging on my wall but they're the dried red chili peppers and they're cut up cloves and they are both sitting in um four cups of water and they're gonna say oh and a tablespoon of dawn dish liquid and so they're gonna sit overnight and by tomorrow this will be ready to use so the story that i heard is that this is the best this one here is the best it works immediately and then this one is the second best it works about three weeks like about three weeks you shouldn't see you, know, you should not see any um bugs and then you know nothing goes to waste right so the peeling from the garlic is all in here and it's just water in here and they're gonna soak overnight because this is a good fertilizer now all of this is stuff that I heard, and I like doing DIYs, so I'm going to try this and see if it really works. I'm going to try all of them and see if they really work. And if they do, woo, woo, conquer the bugs in the house, conquer the bugs outside. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord. Because <laughs> I'm so tired of bugs. I hate bugs. All right. Hey, and plus, listen, I'm about to say this, and then I'm going to let y'all go. When God created me. He blessed the man after he created Adam he and Eve. He blessed them. And this is what he said to them. He said, be fruitful. That means we are to be productive, right? So my husband likes to grow, but how productive if I'm, are we being if we're growing and the bugs is taking over, right? So he says, be productive and multiply. So my husband's doing that, right? He's doing that in the garden. You can see some of it through the window. He's he's growing and he's growing a lot and he's growing a lot of different stuff. And they're coming up and they're bringing the fruit, right? But the bug, the bugs is out there trying to take the fruit. Like they 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 ridiculous. And so God says be fruitful we're doing that he says and multiply we're doing that but he says subdue that means that we're gonna bring under control we're gonna take control and they taking control out there we're gonna take back control that's what god said and then he said and have dominion that means that we're going to have authority and rule over the fish of the sea over the birds of the sky and over the, the birds of the air, said birds of the air, and over every living thing that's on the earth. And then one of the scriptures says, every creeping thing, right? So let me tell you. 
The fish of the sea. I'm about to tell y'all this real quick. And I want y'all to catch this. The fish of the sea. Jesus told his disciples, they were fishers by trade. But he told them, he said, I'm going to make you fishers of men. Fishers of men, right? And so um, in the book of Revelation, I think it's chapter 17, like around the end, it talks about the water, right? And it says that the water represents people's tribes, tongues, and nations, right? So for us to be told that we are to have dominion or authority over the fish of the sea, that's talking about our ministry. Now, the birds of the air. The birds of the air. Um, we know that Satan and them imps is a principality over the air. <laughs> but we are to take control in those areas too. But the birds of the air represent spirits, right? Spirits, right? And so we take control and have dominion and authority over that too. All right? Y'all catch me now, right? Over spirits, which means, you know, bad spirits. We control that. We shut that down. You know, I don't need to ever be in a bad mood. It's not to say that some things won't happen. But when things do happen, I'm not to let it control my mood and affect me. You know, what's, look, the scripture says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. So, yeah. So, we had dominion over the birds of the air, right? And so now last one over every living thing on the earth now here is the thing with that the earth represents flesh right um it, 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 it uh okay so the earth represents flesh um and every living thing first of all when i think about the creeping things when it talks about creeping i think of them bugs you know so for me it's the bugs right and, and getting dominion over them bugs but also for every creeping thing or every living thing on the earth man was created from the dust of the ground we were created from the earth right and so we're looking at it if i'm going to look at it and i'm going to look at all of this in the spiritual realm then i'm looking at the fact that it's talking about the flesh have dominion over the flesh now that doesn't mean that i need to go out and have dominion over somebody else that's not what god is saying but i'm gonna have dominion over me in other words i am to crucify my flesh and lead it and not let my flesh lead me okay y'all catching it right i'm gonna have dominion over this therefore i will walk in the spirit and not in the flesh my flesh don't get to rule me I get to rule it. My flesh don't get to get out of hand and tell me what it wants to do. And I want this and I want this. No, you no. We're going to fast then because you're not going to get it. I say, <laughs> I know y'all catching this now. I'm about to let y'all go. I'm about to let y'all go. Listen, listen. Not only am I learning the word, but I'm working it too. I'm trying at least. I'm trying. Y'all pray for me. <laughs>